Follow me, Green Lanterns. Together, we will achieve victory. Banish me to Quad? The biggest mistake you arrogant fools will ever make. Welcome, Kyle Rayner of Earth, to my Sinestro Corps. In brightest day and blackest night, to most Green Lanterns, these are just the cheesy words from an oath born in a forgotten time. To those of us few vets that have survived the multiple attacks on those principles, that oath means more to us than the power ring itself. I can feel my hand shaking. I am Green Lantern, the man without fear. Yet I am so afraid of the task ahead of me. I have to tell a friend he is breathing his last breaths. Whether he deserves it or not is a question I dare not ask myself. I have seen so much death that even losing the bad guys is still losing. I'm tired of losing. I lost a father. I lost a home. I wield the most powerful weapon in the universe. And yet I keep on losing. As soon as I gather the nerve, I will walk right up to a bad man science cell and tell him he is going to be executed. The man he has become is too dangerous to live. His crimes too great. My fear stems from the horrific thought of also killing the good man he was. What were you thinking? Clearly, he was not thinking. When the assignment was given, I thought I made it very clear that I was not the best choice for Ambassador. Nonetheless, you bear the symbol of a Green Lantern. With that mantle comes responsibilities. We were informed you had a lot of good relations with your fellow Lanterns. So much so, that four of the most prominent Green Lanterns spoke on your behalf. One Green Lantern declared that you were the best thing to happen to the Green Lantern Corps since the coming of the Power Ring. Lycaria of Sector 1010 exclaimed that she was quite pleased with how you performed. <laughs> there is nothing to laugh about, Kolar Tosh! Please stop calling me that. Then stop acting like it! Sinestro of 1417, you were not summoned. Why have you come? Because I am responsible for this mess, my glorious masters. Explain. I was Hal Jordan's mentor. His failures are my own. But Ganthus... Shut up! The Guardians are not your co-workers or your friends. They are your masters. You will acknowledge them as such. I taught you better than to address them by their given names. I have a good mind to... At ease, Sinestro. The Green Lantern Corps is no place for anger and unwarranted threats. Yes, masters. My apologies. None are required, Sinestro. I trust you have come before us for a reason. Is it your wish to speak on the 2814's behalf? Correct as usual, Great Ones. Though 2814 is obviously a failure in every sense of the word, his incompetence has accomplished a near impossible task. The Tolaks have avoided all outside communication. However, after Hal Jordan spent time with their king's daughter, they've been more than willing to communicate their displeasure with the Green Lantern Corps. Correct me if I am wrong, wise ones, but was that not his mission? To open communications with their planet. Surely you do not approve of his methods, Sinestro. Of course not, my lords. Your displeasure with him is a great crime in my eyes. Your great power is only rivaled by your fairness. I wish not to speak out of turn, but perhaps more fair than this whelp deserves, I request permission to discipline him myself. I also arrogantly ask the second favor of being allowed to clean the mess that our ward has so generously bestowed upon us. Sinestro of 1417, you do realize that by speaking for the Earthman, you also put your position at stake? Gladly, masters. Very well. Neither of you will be expelled from the Green Lantern Corps. Sinestro, you have done much in our service. 
These requests seem the least we can do in return. Handle the situation on Tolak and discipline your protege. Make him half of what you are, and he will truly be magnificent. Yes, yes masters. masters. The lanterns who recommended you, Jordan? All women, I presume. <laughs> what do you think? I think I am thoroughly going to enjoy punishing you. You're not really going to punish me, are you? Oa is a long way from Kodoga. Oh, I am getting something for my trouble. Now hold out your ring arm. Uh, seriously? Now. Just get on with it, will you? There is your proverbial slap on the wrist. You jerk. You really had me going there for a second. I thought you might rip my arm off, or something. Removing your arm would hardly keep you out of trouble. However, removing your genitalia might buy me a few nights of worryless sleep. But let's face it, you would just ring up new and larger sex organs, making you, quite literally, an even bigger pain in the ass to all the females in the universe. That's just wrong. Seriously, Jordan, can you at least try to stay out of trouble? You have great power within you. I sense you will become the greatest Green Lantern ever. We both owe Abin and his memory such a glory. You're right. I am sorry. I will try harder. Good. Because I also know that by the same token, you and that power could just as soon become the downfall of the Green Lantern Corps. Hey, I would never harm the Corps or the principles it stands for. Oh no? You're already killing me with these foolish antics of yours, Jordan. Even now, I doubt you truly understand the gravity of what just happened. We could have been dismissed from the GLC. I am not always going to be around to help you. Hey, I didn't ask you for help back there. No, you did not, Hal. Friends should never have to ask each other for help. And what about the planet? Oh, I'd already taken care of it. Sinestro, thanks. You're welcome, my friend. But if you really want to thank me, start acting like the Green Lantern I know you can be. This universe needs all the heroes it can get. You sure you're going to be okay with this, Hal? If you want, I can be the one to go in there. I'll be fine, Kyle. You wiped out every single living being from my world without even blinking. He's a killer, Hal. Don't you ever forget that. So was I. Sinestro, 